Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Hummingbird Tales. Um, I'm doing a selection of videos at the moment and working my way through because I had such lovely gifts from people over the Christmas and New Year period um, and for my birthday. And one of the ones I really wanted to share with you was um, as a complete surprise to me, it's a lovely Kathy Cadill. Um, you all know her, she's got her own, um, I think it's, uh, is it Keep It Shabby? That's her, um, yes, her YouTube channel and her Etsy shop. And she's also a member of um, Junk Journal Junkies on Facebook. Anyway, hi Kathy. lovely to be talking to you again. Anyway, the reason why I'm mentioning Kathy is because she sent me this. This came... I believe it was about a week after New Year, maybe around the 10th of January, and I didn't expect it, I knew nothing about it, but bless her, she sent me a lovely card, and she basically thanked me for sending her some happy mail um, back in the autumn, and uh, it was just a delight to send her some happy mail, um, as I had ordered a really lovely journal of her, which I did a video of, Anyway, I have opened this, but my goodness, I had to share it with you. So this was a gift from Kathy, and this is just absolutely amazing. Now I'm going to zoom in a bit. Okay, so Kathy has made this lovely little journal out of a bag, and the closure is a a piece of um, seam binding. And she's layered up with some paper here and she's got one of those lovely rosette trims here and isn't that picture just stunning and we'll turn it over so she's kept the back nice and plain with the coffee dyeing or tea dyeing and she's signed it and uh, let's open it so here we have the opening of the bag and inside is this beautiful image and I've put the envelope of the card that she sent me in there as well. The card is actually on my mantelpiece in my living room at the moment. So thank you so much for that. Here we've got some lace trim. And inside is this beautiful tag with vintage style stamped on it. This is a glassine bag actually. Lace pocket here with some trim and this lovely image of a lady. Now, oh, I know what this is. This is one of those flip envelopes that you get in Denise's shop. Before I talk about that, just look at this beautiful patterning that kathy has got on here. I don't know how she does that, but it's stunning. And inside, we have one of those Tiffany & Co stamped journal cards which I absolutely love and here we have some ledger paper music paper and another pocket and there's a little tag here with inspire written on and she's layered up a doily here with a little bit of rose trim and these are the little tags that are in the pocket isn't that pretty and she's wrapped a bit of seam binding around this lady here oh it's just so lovely and here she's embellished with some lace trim or like a yeah it's a lace trim of a rose and some stamping and there's a glassine bag here which she's embellished and here's another journal card. Fabric pocket, and she's layered up some little bits of fabric here. And there's a crochet flower. And inside is this card of this beautiful lady. And she's got one of the Tim Holtz little clips on here that she's embellished with little diamantes. If you can hear hissing, it's because I'm in my kitchen at the moment and I'm cooking some homemade stew soup, rather not stew, so I'll just turn it down. Whoop. 
throw that. <laughs> so here we have another pocket made with this lace and she has a little calabash bowl pin with a little image hanging off there and there's another gorgeous Tiffany and Co stamp and a music layered tag. Gorgeous paper and oh, I love this page. Some vintage buttons and she's got a button hanging off here and I believe that this is one of the Tim Holtz are they called Lost Family or Family Cards? I haven't seen them in this country but I know that my dear friends in the States use those. There's a paper doily here embellished with a bit of cheesecloth and some of this rose trim and that's in the Garden of Tomorrow music card. And here we've got another beautiful lace pocket and just look at the background. Oh, my favourite colour, that teal. And on this page we've got like a scalloped um, circle here which has been embellished again and some paper layered with a lovely little journal card or journaling card. And here we've got some lace and she's made a tuck with my favourite stamp and this lovely, it's like a really soft chiffon type of fabric. And then in here we have oh, it's part of a paper bag and this has got some ruffle here made out of seam binding and inside it's a little booklet. Oh, these little details that Kathy does that I absolutely love. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? And that's a piece of paper that she's embellished and folded that folds out like that and she's done some stamping on there. So pretty. Back in its little bag. So handy these little journaling spots. And on the back here she's tucked in fine rubber stamps. Little journal tag there, journal card. And that went in here. Oh there's a story behind this piece of fabric. In fact, when I sent Kathy the happy mail. She's actually used some of those bits and pieces in here, but I can't remember all that I sent her. But I do remember this. And I'll tell you why. Just turn the oven off. This is actually a piece of my grandmother's dressing um, tablecloth. And she was given it as a gift, I can't remember by who, when she first got married. Now my gran is now 85 years old. And she got married when she was 19, so just under 20 years ago. And it's just in fabulous condition. And I was so overjoyed when I saw that Kathy had made a pocket out of this. Because that's just such a precious memory for me of my gran. And thank God she is still with me. Bless her heart. And I showed this to her when I received it. And she was so made up and found it unbelievable to think that a dear friend in the United States had received some of this and made it into a pocket, put it in a journal and sent it back to me. She thought that was lovely and I am inclined to agree with her. So here we have some embellishing and layering and this has got vintage on the little tag. And in this pocket we've got a little folded over card. I was just so astounded to receive this because I had no idea that this was coming. It was just such a surprise, Kathy, and I am so grateful because your work is just stunning. And I love this. That must be a die. And inside this envelope, we've got some cards. Oh, now this one got a little tuck in behind it. Lovely. 
It's quite a clever idea actually. Never thought of that. And it's attached with a little teeny weeny paper clip. I'm gonna have to hurry on now because I'm waffling. Quilted Tiffany stamped pocket and inside this beautiful fabric little booklets again to journal in. These are handy to put in your handbag like I said and just you know journal away bring them back and put them back in and look at this isn't that lovely so she has a mason jar cut out here with a paper clip on and that slips in there and I do love this clip I think that's fantastic I think actually that clip is meant to stop it from falling off or falling out of the pocket there we go and on this side we've got some beautiful blue vintagey paper with this gorgeous trim and inside is another little booklet with a butterfly and there's a card here I don't know how you whiz through these Kathy, when you show them off on your channel because they take me ages beautiful paper and we have here one of these little tags that Kathy uses in her journals and this is on one of these garment tags and that tucks in there a little bit of embellishing there and another beautiful layered trim pocket and that's got handmade on the little tag and we have another gorgeous tag of a vintage looking lady glass in bag with every possibility begins with the courage to imagine and I absolutely love that and here we have another little pocket with this tag and I love this trim this leaf trim it's beautiful and here we have Another little pocket that's embellished with some cheesecloth and inside, I think this is a library card, is that glued in? Yeah, that vintage style is glued in and this is, um, yeah, it's the library card. <laughs> well done Tina. <laughs> oh, look at this beautiful gem down here. And here's another little folded in half card. And then we've got the ledger paper and on the back page she's attached this lovely little card with one of the Tim Holtz clips. Absolutely stunning. So I just want to take this opportunity to thank you so much, Kathy. It was a real blessing to receive this. Um, you really did make my day, my week, my month. I adore your work. And uh, thank you so much for thinking of me. It was just truly wonderful. Um, and I will say that when I opened it and read your card, I did have a tear in my eye. Thank you for your kindness. And if you would like to look at Kathy's work, she has a channel on YouTube and it's Keep It Shabby, Kathy Cadeal. And she's also on Junk Journal Junkies on Facebook. And she has an Etsy shop with the same name, Keep It Shabby. And I will try and link them in beyond, um, on the bottom. So that's it for now. Um, thank you very much. And uh, I will see you later.